Hello everyone. Welcome back to WeTrends. Are you about to start college and are wondering which laptop to buy on a budget? We at WeTrends have got just what you need. I'm Ananya and I'm Shubhanu and today we're going to tell you the basic requirements you need in a laptop for college and give you some suggestions of our own. So let's get started. Laptops are one of the most important things that every engineering student needs, but they are very confused about the specifications. The most important thing to keep in mind before buying a laptop is of course its performance, which depends on four major things: processor, RAM, internal storage, and graphics card. First, processor. Any small or big task in a laptop is performed by the processor. It processes the raw data and gives us the desired output from the machine. Now there are two major chip manufacturers for computers and laptops in the present market Intel and AMD and we are going to tell you about them both in this video First Intel processors Intel has mainly four series of processors based on the price and specifications They are Intel Core i3 Core i5 Core i7 and Core i9 chipsets in the market Also Intel manufactures some low end processors They are Intel Atom, Intel Celeron, Intel Pentium. Try to ignore these low-end processors in 2021 because they can't give you good enough performance on your laptop. Intel has been famous in the industry for many years, and their processors give a decent performance in every price range. Moving on to the AMD processors, AMD also provides great processors under the budget after they launched their new Ryzen series. Before that they had their AMD A series but now AMD Ryzen series is much more popular and powerful because of their high performance at low prices. AMD Ryzen processors also have four series they are AMD Ryzen 3, Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 9 chipsets. Second, RAM. Random access memory or RAM is mainly useful to open the apps quickly and store them in recent apps for quick access. Try to choose the latest version of RAM type that is DDR4 or, or the new DDR5. More RAM means better multitasking, so try to choose more RAM in your budget. Usually, we have 4 GB, 8 GB, and 16 GB RAM present in laptops based on the price and specifications. If you want to buy a laptop for light usage purposes, then 4 GB is enough for you. If you are a heavy gamer or video editor or running heavy software, then choose a minimum of 8 GB RAM. and you can choose up to 16 GB also in a price range third storage storage is also a major thing to consider in a laptop because everyone has something to store like files documents software videos photos and some large files like movies if you are a person who stores many things on a laptop then try to choose a laptop with more storage Choosing the perfect measure of storage limit with regards to your computer or laptop relies upon extra room space and speed of storage. Commonly, laptop storage has three types. They are HDD, SSD, and SSHD. Let's discuss them one by one. First, HDD or hard disk drive. HDD is a normal storage hard disk and costs less than SSD. So they can provide huge drives like 1 TB or 2 TB SSD storage on some laptops. The performance and speed of SSD are decent but are not as great as SSD drives. If you only want to store a lot of files without doing any heavy tasks using those files, then SSD should be good enough for you. Moving on to SSD or solid state drives. SSD storage is less in amount. Despite being 5 times costlier, it is 10 times faster than SSD. This SSD storage type laptops are mainly useful for people who want better performance on a laptop, faster boot time, don't need more storage in their laptop, and need to do heavy work using large data files more than 1 GB. Then we have the solid state hybrid drive that is SSD, which means a combination of both SSD and SSD. In the previous two cases, you must choose between great performance or more storage. SSD is an option for you to choose both of them together instead. This SSD comes like 1 TB SSD plus 256 GB SSD 
or 1 TB HDD plus 512 GB SSD etc. on some laptops and computers. Fourth, GPU or graphics card. Graphic cards are a must in computers and laptops for high performance tasks like gaming, editing, running heavy software etc. These graphic cards are majorly of two types. First, integrated graphics. Integrated graphics means the graphic card is included in the processor itself. This is not as powerful as the dedicated counterparts, but now the companies are giving decent integrated graphic cards like AMD, Radeon, Vega graphics. These integrated graphics are majorly seen in low-level laptops. Dedicated graphics. Dedicated graphic cards are majorly useful for heavy performance tasks like gaming, video editing, etc. This graphic card is similar to RAM in the spec sheet and the company mentions the size of the graphic card whether it's 2GB or 4GB or 8GB dedicated graphics card. NVIDIA and AMD are two major companies providing dedicated graphics card in the present market. Fifth, display and its size. Display and size also matter a lot for those who watch movies and for those who travel more with the laptop. Display size, size depends on your preference between 13 inches, 14 inches or 15.6 inches. If you travel often with a laptop, then opt for a smaller display. But if you are a movie buff, then 15.6 is the way to go. Sixth point, that is battery. Battery plays a key role in every electronic gadget. A bigger battery means more hours of usage. So try to choose a laptop with good battery backup and also fast charging. A minimum of 5 to 6 hours of battery backup is good on any laptop. Now coming to build quality, build quality also matters for those heavy users and also for travelers because they use the laptop in various conditions. Choose all the ports you want to use on your laptop. The cooling system matters a lot for heavy performance as well. So choose a laptop with good cooling fan. Moving on to the operating system. The operating system is the main thing in any laptop because the OS can control the hardware and also communicate with other softwares. It lets you contact the software acting as a bridge between you and your laptop. The operating system can manage all the hardware, software, files, documents and memory present on your laptop. OS in computers and laptops are mainly of five types. Windows, Mac OS, Chrome OS, Linux and DOS. Windows is the most commonly used operating system. It is also a great user-friendly OS in the present market. Also, every common man is using Windows because of its wide range of popularity and easy user interface. Mac OS is present in Apple laptops which are known as MacBooks and iMac. It is the most secure and smooth performing OS. So now, we have some of our own suggestions for you in different price ranges. So, laptops under 30,000. First, you should try for a minimum of 8GB RAM, but these are not very suitable for heavy gaming. For example, Lenovo IdeaPad S145. Second, Avatar Pura. And third, Mark U by Falcon Airbook. Then moving on to laptops under 50,000. These laptops are helpful in intensive work and are suitable for gaming and also you can safely use it for 4 years. First, HP Pavilion Gaming. Second, Acer Aspire 7. Third, Lenovo IdeaPad S145. Now, laptops under 80,000. These are useful for content creators and best for gaming and also good graphic cards. First, MSI GF75 Pin. Second, Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3i. Third, Dell G5 15SE. Moving on to laptops under 1 lakh. First, Asus ROG Strix G15. Second, Lenovo Legion 5i. And culminating with Acer Predator Helios 300. So that's it for the video. Hope our suggestions help you narrow down your choices. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you found this video helpful. You can also follow our other social handles, link to which will be given in the description. Thanks for tuning in with us. See you next time.